Part 25. We are going to look at mixed examples of percentages. You will find this on page 31 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. I want you to do the following example. 2A, 3A, 4 and 5. But before you start doing it, I just want to take you back to the Grade 8 summary. Now, if you can recall, from grade 8, we had this summary. Let's call number 1. If you express one quantity as a percentage of a number, then it's, then it's let's call it exome method 1. So, express 8 kilogram as a percentage of 20 kilogram, then it's just 8 over 20 times 100%, and that's giving me 40%. Now, remember, if I want to put this sum into reverse, I can say, Calculate 40% of 20. So then I will say 40 divide by 100 instead of multiply 100. And then multiply by the 20. And that would give me 8 kilogram. Okay, so let's call it method 2. Then method 3 was the percentage increase and decrease and finding the amount. So if I say increase 20 by 15%. So it, I first work out 15%, 15 over 100. This is why it's under number 2, because I use this finding a percent of percentage of a quantity. So 15 over 100 times 20, and that's 3 kilogram. So if I increase the amount, then it's the 20 plus the 3, and that will give me an ounce of 23 kilogram. Okay. Now, if I want to put this sum into reverse, I will put it like this. I will say Levy's mass increase from 20 to 23. 20 to 23. Find the percentage increase in his mass. So I will first find the difference or the change. Okay, and that's 3. And I will take that 3 and put it over the first amount, the original one. And then I times with 100. So it's underneath this one because I'm, I'm making a percentage. So 3 over 20 times 100, and that's 15%. So, if I go back to the exercise, I want you to classify, is it like method 1, like method 2, like method 3, or like method 4? Okay, let's start again with this. So, if you look at this one, and you can recall the table, you will say the following. Find 15% of 40. That was like method 2. Can you remember? Um, I will do it now. Express this as a percentage. This was like number 1. And last quarter, my electricity bill was this. This quarter, my bill is this. Oh, this is definitely now number 4. And the electrician, Mr. Rousseau, presents a bill of this plus 15%. So it's increased with 15%. Then, then this one will definitely be method 3. Okay. Let's start doing that sums. So if I look at the first one, okay, let's start. Just want to get that exercise. Let's just move it a little bit down. Okay. So it's exercise 1.1. ten, And we are going to start with number 2A. So if I say, find 15% of 400, it was just 15 out of 100, and I times with 400, and I'm getting an answer of what? I'm getting an answer of 60. Okay, and that's my final answer. If I look at number 3, I, again, 54 marks out of 80 as a percentage. Can you remember? It's um, expressing one quantity as a percentage of another. Let's just clean here. So then it's 54 over 80, and I make it a percentage by multiplying with 100%. And if I do that, I will get 67.5%. That will be my answer. Okay. And then number four, if I look at number four, Last quarter, my electricity bill was this. This quarter, the bill is this. So it's basically just going to be first finding the difference 
Oh, so the difference will be that 5, 9, 4 minus the 5, 2, 8, and that will be 66. And then I will take the 66, put it over the first one. Oh, sorry, sorry. The first one. There's the first one. And that will be that 5, 2, 8. And then I make it a percentage by multiplying it by 100%. And that will give me 12.5%. Okay. Find the percentage increase. So the percentage increase is 12.5%. And then the last one is number 5. The electrician, Mr. Rousseau, present this plus 15%. Find how much the customer must pay. Now, let's do method 2 for a, for a difference. So it's 100 plus 15%. That gives me 115%. And then it's 115 over 100 times the 450. And that will give me an amount of 517 Point five zero. So what must the customer pay? The customer will pay 517.50 Namibian dollar. And this is how you do different percentage sums.